that if the implement or tank profile is changed, an ECU setup is required to learn the tank and drill ECUs to the new profile selected. It stops at this screen, Implement ECU and Setup. Within the Implement ECU Setup, it'll review what each tank is run off of. So there is a CM40 on the tank, number one. It's running Drive 1, Drive 2 for Tank 2. I'll move the slide bar down. 3 on Drive 3, 4 on Drive 4. Tank 5 is running off a second CM40 on the air seeder off of drive 1. And tank 6, our NH3, is also running on that second CM40 drive 2. Up in the corner where it says show booms, if we touch that, now we're going to see the booms. The term boom is derived from the original programming created for sprayer control full width boom for granular application across the whole drill as one section. Seed boom for application of seed through sectional control. Fertilizer boom for control of fertilizer application through sectional control. Liquid or NH3 the control of liquid or anhydrous application through sectional control. I'll move up to the top so as we can see the full width is off the CM40 the seed section control, granular section control, is running off an EM24 that's located on the tank. The fertilizer, granular fertilizer, is also running on that same EM24 on the tank. And now our NH3 section control is running on a second EM24 located on the drill. I'm going to implement ECU and manage. Now to detect our ECUs that we have within our list, we have to come to this screen. Implement ECU Manage. ECU number one is a CM40 on the tank, located closest to the wall of the tank. The second CM40, number two, is bolted below the first CM40. The third ECU on the tank is an EM24. And then we have an EM24 on the drill as well. This unit is also equipped with Packmaster, but because Packmaster is an option, it doesn't come up in the standard list. So now to detect the ECUs, over here where it says status, we touch that and we will be replacing this ECU. Tells us it's going to run through a power cycle. And then the setup wizard comes up. It says to disconnect the Apollo CM40 and connect with a new Apollo CM40 ECU to the CAN bus. And then press next. So at this time, we have to go unplug the comms to the second CM40 the EM24 on the tank and the two ECUs on the drill.